completely different. So my kids and I, we drive quite a lot of RC cars, we'll fly some drones, helicopters and stuff. Mostly we have a lot of those WL toys in Tamiya. And the good thing about the WL toys is they have these cheap uh, receivers. They're not super good. If you give them a little bit more, like 6 volts or slightly over, they kind of burn out. And I had several, so the board itself, the receiver board, is not that big. Uh, I also made some myself, these ones, uh, based on an STC Micro and an uh, NRF uh, 24. So um, the protocol is quite simple. It's the V2X2, uh, the Open TX uh, project for the transmitters. It has a description about that. Um, so it's well known. There are several projects out, uh, out there that do similar stuff. So as a transmitter and receiver, it's, it's quite okay. It's not good. The distance that it can do is not very optimal, but it's good enough, especially for kids. Uh, you don't want your car to go too far away. And what I like most is that these transmitters, they're actually quite good. So these are the slightly newer ones, the pistol grip ones. Uh, okay, easy to hold with one hand and same protocol. But we also have a lot of the old ones, so about 12 or more. So they come with the transmitter board and of course this uh, steering wheel. And I looked at it and I thought, well, it looks like kind of, I can make it look like uh, the, the Futaba tracks, the old controllers that you had for Nitro cars, where there's a steering wheel and a throttle lever. So that's what I made here. So this is what I made of some of those components. There's a throttle lever. It should have been in the original like this, but for kids I thought, well, let's make it kind of fun. Like they can hold it in front of them. So I took one apart so you can see what's in there. So you can see here, there's a light bulb battery. There's the, the actual steering wheel. And there's a potentiometer, a slight potentiometer for the, for the speed. And there's a charge uh, board there for the LiPo battery. So actually what's in there is not that special, it's not very amazing, but it works really well. So the kids love this. There's kind of a slight problem that when you turn it on, it starts to zero out where the slider is. So in a way, if you put it like this, the car can only go forward, which maybe is a good thing. Eh? But you can also, in that case, make it act like 70-30%. So, it's a small problem that you can turn into an advantage, but uh, they actually work quite well. So, uh, besides this, they can drop it, they can break it, I don't care. It's not a big deal. So, they're quite sturdy, made a different antenna on there. So, uh, kids love it. Mm -hmm. it's something special, it's something that's theirs. Uh, like a lanyard idea. So. Great. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you have questions about uh, around this, just ask me. Um, don't ask me for schematics because the transmitter board is definitely not designed by me. Although it's quite simple, so I probably could make something similar. Um, but then again, get an Open TX uh, transmitter like those uh, jumpers or Radio Masters if you really want to go uh, fancy. But uh, yeah, that's it.